day. I'm excited to be in Rapid and actually be able to be in person with everybody. I know. This is great. It's so good to finally meet you. Exactly. Like so many little Zooms. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's so nice to be in person. So um, thank you for um, offering to, to do this today. So um, Mara, tell us a little bit more about the um, Matter Hackers and what you're doing. Yeah, sure. Well, um, hi, I'm Mara Hitner from Matter Hackers. Um, I'm the VP of Strategic Partnerships, and we're here at Rapid, um, and we are we have a booth, and we are showing um, a number of different 3D printers and materials, um, desktop 3D printers. So Matter Hackers, if you go to MatterHackers.com, you'll some people know that we sell um, desktop 3D printers from like $300 up to about $10,000 ish. Um, and all different brands, so people come to us when they're not quite sure exactly what they need for their production, um, but uh, they can get some unbiased advice if you need uh, Ultimaker, MakerBot, Pulse, Molesbot, all different kinds of printers, BCN3D. Um, so we're kind of a one-stop shop for all that. We also have over 2,000 different kinds of materials, and that's a lot of what we're actually showing in our booth. Um, this week is just really showing the um, everything from you know the $15 PLA up to the BASF 316 stainless steel that you can actually print with these inexpensive machines. Um, nylon with carbon fiber, nylon with glass fiber. There's so much utility now with these very inexpensive 3D printers. So that's what we're really excited to, to be here showing today. So Mara, um, you're doing a lot of work on the education side of things with all these printers as, as well. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, that's one of the things that we work with America Makes on is that um, there's so many programs for workforce development and education that America Makes is working on. Um, and Matter Hackers is one of the approved vendors for thousands of schools, um, universities, K-12, um, throughout the country. And so we actually have our Education Ambassadors program, Matter Hackers and Education Ambassadors, mm -hmm. where we have teachers that are creating um, content, creating um, lesson plans and um, you know uh, projects for the classroom that use these um, 3D printers and materials to really bridge that gap between what teachers need to be teaching in the classroom um, and in universities, certificate programs, trade schools. We need to get the next generation of, work for, of workforce prepared for the additive manufacturing jobs of the future, but also today. Like I know y'all are hiring, I'm hiring. Yes. Like we need people that are really passionate about um, 3D printing and know how to use it, what's it what it's for. Um, so Matter Hackers sits in a really interesting place in that we, our customers are K-12 and universities and major corporations and government and military, but they're not always kind of talking to each other. Right. So sometimes, you know, the major corporations need to, need to hire, but the teachers don't know what they need to be teaching. Sure. Um, or, you know, the military needs certain kinds of machines with capabilities and then people to run them, but, you know, they're not getting that. Um, engagement from the general public of people to be able to come and do that. So Matter Hackers is kind of talking to all of them and doing business with all of them. So we try to make those connections. Sure. Yes. Uh, so the other thing you were doing with all your connections to and selling the printers were make, connecting um, the needs of the during COVID of the uh, masks and other other things that we need. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that as well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, America Makes was so helpful during that PPE crisis where you know, again, Matter Hackers, we've been selling 3D printers for, you know, six, eight years. Um, actually, I've been there for six years. We've been selling them for eight years. Um, so we have customers across the country that um, wanted to volunteer and print the face shields. Yes. So as soon as we were able to get that um, approved by the NIH, that face shield um, design, we sent out an email to our customers, and we got 5,000 volunteers that ended up shipping us um, models like the the face shield models um, between between the 5,000 volunteers they had over 14,000 3d printers mm -hmm. so like you know what 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 3d printers lack in speed we made up for in numbers in that you know there are just so many people that are able to have access to the technology so yes to your point we were um, we used our our connections and our network to be able to get everyone to use their 3d printers to help out when, when it was needed. Yes, that was a, such a great thing that you were doing there at Matter Hackers. Thank you. So um, you have some um, on your 
just going to point out your ring. Oh, as, yes, as my, my famous ring. ring. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were talking about the, um, the uh, BASF 316L, yes. um, which is super exciting because what, what Matter Hackers has done is that if you need to print stainless steel, you can do it on a $1,000 printer. Um, you can do it on an Ultimator. You can do it on a, B, on a BCN, um, pretty much any printer you have. Um, you print the part, and then what we give you is a sintering ticket, so you send it away for the debinding and sintering process, mm -hmm. and then it comes back to you as a full metal part. Yes. So it's really like the democratization of metal. Yes. Um, look, it's not for like certified airplane parts. Yeah. If you need that, you're gonna wanna get get a get a bigger printer and you know get right. get a different material. But um, so this was you know my little kitty ring that I wear all the time um, that I printed in my print about simple metal in 2014. Um, and then as soon as we got the BAS metal material, yes. I wanted to make a kitty ring in metal. <laughs> and so I have my stainless steel, the complete uh, story yes. of, uh, of the progress of AM right here on my finger. It's very okay. sharp. So like we're not <laughs> shaking hands right now, we're doing fist bumps and it's really <laughs> dangerous and I feel bad. I think I've stabbed a few people. <laughs> but it's just an awesome material and there's so many, you know, this is not what it, it was developed great. for. <laughs> but this is my application. Yes. And I think that that's the great thing about AM is that everybody has their passion point. Everybody has their entry point. Right. And it's a matter of just like finding that use case. And at this point where AM is, whatever your use case is, there's probably a machine and a material that will satisfy that use case and right. you're going to have a good, you know, a much a much better time with it than when I started six years ago, <laughs> for sure. Uh, well, or when you started, you know, when you were you were doing your training. Yes, yes. So it, it's amazing how far additive has come in materials and machines and applications and, and training. Yeah. You know, um, and that's a big piece of, I think, all of it is just getting people more exposed to, to what it is. So, yeah. Um, so w where's your booth at? What I, I really uh, we, I don't have the booth number off the top of my head, but we're in the back corner. Uh, <laughs> so if you're here at the show, uh, check out your, your app or look for the Matter Hackers booth. Check out matterhackers.com. I'm going to be roaming around now that I'm out of my house yes. uh, and meeting everybody. <laughs> so yeah, come see some printers, come see some uh, materials. Let us know what your application is and what your passion point is, and we'll see if we have a solution. We just love, we love working with our customers to find solutions to problems. Well, thank you so much for so your time. So good to meet you. Good to meet you too. I would fist bump you, but yeah. that's going to be dangerous. <laughs>